Hi everyone and welcome to Easy Learning. So this might be the easiest topic so far. This one is about three part contingency, which is ABC data. So basically three part contingency by contingency we means the parts which are linked with each other. So these three parts are linked with each other and these are the ABC data. Each of these letter stands for something. The A stands for antecedent. B for behavior, C for consequence. Consequence. So basically, you need to just remember what each of these stand for: antecedent, behavior, consequence. And now let's cover each of these. The ABC model describes the functional relationship between behavior and its environment. So basically, we are talking about the relationship between behavior and its environment. Through the ABC model, through the antecedent behavior consequence model. Antecedent is basically something which is happening before. By antecedent, we mean before, and by consequence, we mean something that is happening after. So, antecedent is what happens before the behavior. It might be the trigger as well. For example, a teacher asks a student to complete an assignment. This is something happening before a particular behavior. A teacher is asking the student to complete an assignment. Now, what will be the behavior? Behavior will be the action that occurs in response to the antecedent, which might be the trigger as well as we said already. So, uh, the antecedent happened and the behavior will probably the reaction, will be the action in response to the antecedent. Or something that is happening after the antecedent example the student refuses to do the assignment consider this as we are collecting the ABC data we are writing that the behavior is the refusal of student to do the assignment what might have happened before this behavior the teacher might have asked the student to do the assignment and then the consequence which is what happens after the behavior, either reinforcing or punishing it. So the behavior will be followed by reinforcement or punishment. Example, the teacher removes the task, negatively reinforcing the refusal behavior. So the teacher is like, okay, don't do it. So this will negatively reinforce. The student will start refusing to do the task continuously in future which means removing the task became the reinforcer of refusal behavior. So that's how we uh, use ABC data. That's how we record ABC data. We write the behavior. We write what happened before it, what was the trigger for it, what was happening in the environment before the behavior occurred. And for consequence, we write what happened right after the behavior. This is what three part contingency is this is what ABC data is so if you are asked to write ABC data of any behavior you will be writing the antecedent behavior and consequence of it coming towards the MCQs what does the A in the ABC model stand for antecedent which of the following is an example of a consequence in the ABC model A teacher gives a sticker to a student for good behavior. In the ABC model, what role does the antecedent play? It triggers the behavior by occurring immediately before it. If a child throws a tantrum and the parent gives them candy to stop the tantrum, which part of the ABC model does the candy represent? Consequence. Which scenario best illustrates the ABC model? A child studies to pass an exam, gets a good grade, and decides to study the same way again. This was all about today. Thank you for watching.